Hi, I'm Judy. I'm Jenna. And this is Snack That. And we have a fun one today, I think. I agree. Um, We're doing matcha flavored things. Uh, This originally was inspired because Lesser Evil Popcorn, well, snacks, brand, whatever, had come out with a matcha flavored popcorn. And we were like, let's do a whole matcha episode. Uh, And we are, but without... (laughs) said popcorn popcorn because we could not find it impossible to find in the state of colorado at least yeah like on their website they're just like nary a bag so So. um what's funny is i think almost everything that we have because of that is like actually ends up being from asian markets although not any specific part of asia Um, a couple different countries are represented yeah uh what's funny though is a few things are Still, like, one brand, we have one Italian brand oh. that has a matcha flavor, <laughs> but oh, right. but we could only find it at an Asian market, even though it's not, like, Asian-specific market, Asian market-specific. Um, the Pocky, after looking in every Asian market in Colorado, I found at King Supers, which is just the local <laughs> grocery store. And then when I looked at it, they're distributed by a company in California, so I think it's, like, Pocky for America is yeah. what that flavor is. So... Kind of a weird mishmash of matcha flavor things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, To start, we have um, a drink. Because what is matcha except for green tea, right? Right. Um, I had to Google Translate the entire package because there's literally not a lick of English on here. Nope, nope, nope. nope. And the um, instructions um, have (laughs) come. Okay. There is a lick of English real right. quick. Can we just re- can we read it? Yes, please. Fawn I didn't even notice. Disorderly Bump mm-hmm. is the brand. Fawn Disorderly Bump. Uh, it is on the <laughs> on the English import label. It does say Fawn Disorderly Bump Hot and Cold Double Bubble oh, Burst. Double Bubble Burst. <laughs> milk, milk tea. Um, so I Google translated the directions, and it does say... If it's summer, use cold water, and okay. if it's winter, use hot water. Okay. And it is winter, but I thought I'd ask you what you wanted. Because mm. I have both. Honestly, I could go either way. All right. What I do you want, think? I kind of want cold, I think. Let's do it. Okay. So, yep, give them a good shake. Yeah, it's oh, just powder inside is. here. There's, like, powder and also a tea bag. That's really interesting. So you just fill up to the line... Which I think uh, is on this clear uh, part oh, yeah, on the yeah. side. Okay. They're really cute containers. I have to give them. That I much. really enjoy this shape. Yeah, me too. Is well thought out. I'll trade you. Okay. And it holds a lot more liquid than I was anticipating, if I'm being honest. I'm assuming we have to cap it and shake it again. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Uh, cap it, shake it, let it sit for thirty seconds and two minutes. Now, the real question is, do we uh, wait for this to brew? I mean, or do do we try a snack and then come back to these after two minutes and 30 seconds? Oh, yeah, let's try a snack and then come back. All right. All right, that does look good. Nice and shook. Good shake. I don't see any, it's nice the bottom's clear so you can see if you've gotten everything off the bottom. Yeah. All right. Cool. We'll be back. Want to start with Kit Kat? Let's do it. Okay. Japan so and it's many Kit Kat flavors. Oh, so many. And the delicious matcha Kit Kat, which I feel like a lot of people have tried. I think so too. So I haven't though. Have you? <gasps> yeah. You have. Oh yeah. I have it. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. Oh, good. I will say the thing that threw me off the first time I had one of these Japanese Kit Kats is their size and shape. They saw it's Di- yeah, because yeah. it's like a mini but double. Yeah. So instead of than one days. like I feel like we it should be long one ones. longer one, yeah. or I don't know, but this, if the size does throw me off, and I feel like I have to eat it like a monster, like the way you're not ever supposed to eat a Kit Kat. And bite into it. And b- bite into both sides at the same time. Um, you see, it's just a weird size and shape. I will break this one, though, so I don't I'm get judged on the television. I'm going to break it, yeah. No one come for us. Yeah. All right. So. Mm, such a pretty color. And this, it smells just like it matcha. It does. It smells really good. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god, I love it. It's that white chocolate base, so you definitely get that. 
um, like cocoa butter flavor immediately. Yeah. But then the matcha flavor, it takes a second to come through, but once it does, it's really strong. It it's is, just... yeah, it's strong, but it's like balanced really well. Mm. And this is like the most acceptable form of white chocolate for me because it really just tones down on that uh, mm -hmm. latte kind of flavor. That is so good. Mm. I could eat a thousand of those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm going to eat the other half. I wasn't going to, but I am. Next we have a Hello Panda. Which are so cute. They are so cute. Um, regular Hello Pandas are like plain cookie on the outside and like a chocolate ganache, like a soft chocolate on the inside. Yeah. I've only had them a couple of times. Um, they have a ton of flavors though, actually. Mm -hmm. But I've only ever had the original. Me too. Definitely haven't had these. I'm excited to try something different. They're always so good. They are so cute. cute. They're images. like a little like kind of wonky and funny. Yeah. Because they like screen print panda images on these like little nuggets. Do they like don't always have <laughs> No. <laughs> but. Mmm. I think I've said this before. Um, but it's worth saying again. One of the reasons I like Asian like cookies especially is the cookie part is always a lot less sweet than mm -hmm. their American counterparts. Um, and that's how I feel about the outside of this, is it's almost more like a cracker. It's like very... Like a flaky cracker. Yeah, cracker biscuity. But the inside yeah. is really sweet. I will say the matcha flavor is not as strong. Not as strong as the Kit Kat, for sure. Oh, for sure. And as soon as I put that in my mouth, I got a distinct memory, which I don't know how or where <laughs> this came from, but does anyone remember the, like, biscuit cookies you could get from McDonald's when we were kids? In like oh, the 90s. I definitely never had those. Oh my god, it tastes just like that biscuit. That's really fun. Weird. The green tea flavor is really mild on these. Yeah. Um, I wonder if it would be Almost stronger visible. if we hadn't just had the Kit Kats, which have a really strong green tea flavor. Um, but like the texture of them is nice and the green tea, well, this makes it look like it oozes out. It doesn't. It's no. more like a ganache. Like a soft, yeah, like a soft cream. cream. But, um, it's definitely there. It's a nice little, um, pop when yeah. you like crunch into it too. So it's just fun to eat. Yeah. And they're not as sweet. So if you like yeah. treats that aren't quite as sweet, I think this is actually really good. You could eat quite a few of those. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Has it been two and a half minutes? I have Surely. no idea. Yes, for sure. Okay, let's oh. drink. <laughs> we had a talk at the beginning. Okay. But you're at, you're at almost nine minutes. So. Great. Oh boy. We I'm gonna reshake this. Right, yeah, let's give a little shake. Mmm, it smells really good. That is earthy. The taste is really nice. Yeah. It's milkier than it I was is. expecting. Um, but the green tea flavor is it's not super duper sweet. Mm-mm. I was a little worried about it being a little too sugary for me, but that's really not a concern here. No. I will say we shook the crap out of them, and I still am getting a still couple a little tiny chunky. little chunks, but yeah. they're not gross. Like, mm -mm. when one gets in your mouth, it doesn't feel gross. It's just, it'd be nice if it was a little smoother. Yeah, you can feel it, like, approach your mouth, but it really goes down smoothly. I actually really like this. Yeah, this is delicious. If I, we ordered these off the internet. <clears throat> Ooh. But now that I know what they look like, I feel like if I like spotted them in the market, I'd try to buy them. I can buy this. And now I want to try it hot. I do too. <laughs> I'm just I'm always disinclined to pour boiling water into a plastic bottle. So that's I think fair, that's I suppose. The only part that I wasn't a big fan of. I think yeah. I would pour it in, shake it, and then probably pour it out into something else. That's a good idea. It'd be kind of weird. Hot. Um. But yeah, it's I. There's a few different companies that make matcha latte style, like instant latte style, and yeah. I was kind of skeptical any of them would be good, but oh, this definitely. is actually very good. This is super good. On disorder. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get it. D double, wait, what? 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 Double, double burst. 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 Double bubble burst. Love, Love it. it. What's next? Um, Pocky, these are the ones I just found at the regular grocery store. Like yeah. In the, with the, you know, noodles and other Asian stuff. Probably Asian one of the most highly distributed Easily. Asian cookies. Yeah, um, for sure. I, I don't, love Pocky. I don't know if I've ever even actually bought the matcha ones, though. I definitely have not. I've had a bunch of flavors, but never matcha. Pocky are so fun to eat. They really are fun to eat. It is always sad, though, when like you, get... you don't leave enough of the last bite mm -hmm. because you, your uncovered stick to covering ratio. You got to start planning down here mm -hmm. at this point. 
It's funny because even though it's probably made basically the same way with like a white chocolate mm-hmm. coating, the flavor is really different from the Kit Kats. It is. It's more of a. Um, it's like more of an earthy matcha flavor. Yeah. But it's. It's 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 de- definitely candy coating. Mm, mm-hmm. Kind of. It's sweet. Yeah. It's not not sweet. It's just earthier. I'd mm-hmm. say. Mm-hmm. Those are it's good. It's light. Yeah, yeah. It is really light. But I feel like that's all all pocky because the oh, yeah. the stick is like a cracker, basically, and that doesn't have any sweetness at all. And because they're so skinny, that I feel like all pocky flavorings seem really like mild and light compared that's, to other similar things. That's a very fair assessment. So good point. Mm, loved it. Yeah. Um, here's our Italy our Italian treat. Yeah. <laughs> we have the um, I think it's loker lo- yeah. loker yeah. Um, quadratini. I. Um, I know we've talked about loving uh, wafer cookies, wafer cut. mm-hmm. and I feel like there's like the ones you get at the store when you're broke because it's like fifty cents the for cheap, a package, yeah. and then these are like the fancy ones. They are, and the the amount of flavors Quadratini comes in are yeah. Wow. I spent an entire year in college only eating the lemon ones for <laughs> lunch and dinner. I love them so much. I love the size of them. They're I do perfectly too. They're like snackable. Bite size. Yeah. Perfect for like sharing, dumping onto a snack tray mm-hmm. and sharing. I did not know they had a matcha flavor, so, so it smells light, pretty Doesn't, light. Yeah, I don't, almost can't even smell it. It's barely there. It's barely, you know what it is to me? It's more akin to like the totally unsweetened matcha, mm-hmm. um, like the no sugar added, like more like green tea it's more like a green tea flavor than matcha which tends to have the sweetness that's fair yeah um and green tea is so mild of a flavor true but i really like them i just I mean, the texture of them is so good and the texture is always amazing i think it builds mm-hmm. the first crunch i feel like it has almost no flavor at all mm-hmm. but once you get to the cream the, or whatever like, layers. Is between the wafer layers yeah <laughs> you the flavor really gets stronger yeah. It's definitely there, but it's the most mild and the least sweet matcha flavor of all of them. Yeah. I'd true. say. I like those. Yeah. All right. So first up, <laughs> I, I have questions. <laughs> How do you say that brand name? We've had stuff from that brand before. We have. It's Korean. Um, the, um, what was it? Choco Pies are by that brand. Oh, you're so right. You're mm-hmm. so right. My question comes from... The only name for this cookie here is chocolate sand. That doesn't sound good to you. Con- you don't like that? <laughs> Ooh, eating sand? Universally yeah. loved. It's. It makes me wonder what to expect from this cookie. Like, is it going to be super crumbly? Great. Yeah. Grainy. I don't. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. But basically, what we're looking at here is like a chocolate sandwich cookie. It's, so. a, it's a chocolate sandwich Ooh, cookie. Ooh, okay. So you like get little packages yeah, in your package? Yeah, you do get little packages. And then I think it's two cookies per package. Okay, so. Now, that cookie oh. doesn't look extremely appetizing, this, if I'm being honest. This is not what I was expecting. It does smell, it smells like green tea and, and something else though. This almost looks like chocolate discs, not necessarily a cookie, you know? Yeah, it almost does. But it's definitely, I'm going to, I'm gonna bite it, I guess. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. okay. That's dense. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Interesting. The cookie is a little weird. Yeah. It's not particularly chocolatey for being like almost black. No. Um, it's crunchy like a cracker. Yeah. And um then this matcha filling in the middle is thick it's really thick i actually like it a lot it's easily yeah. the better part of this cookie of is this the matcha co- filling it is not um, sweet at all it is a very yeah. unsweetened matcha this, flavor the whole between the chocolate not having a ton of flavor and the um you can really see how thick the matcha is in the middle and the matcha not being very sweet this is not a particularly sweet cookie <laughs> Mm-mm. yeah it's got a hint of bitterness to it really which i like the flavors of this are really nice but that cookie is like Kind of hard to eat, honestly. I don't quite understand it. It's really unfortunate if it were even just a smidgy different, like less crunchy, less crumbly. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Then I actually think I would like really love this. I kind of, I would agree. 
But the cookie's doing something to this. Yeah, the cookie texture is kind of awful, if I'm being Super honest. Weird. It's <laughs> it's so hard and crunchy. Like, it's hard. I just tried to scrape the cream like an Oreo, and it was a <laughs> it's mistake. Not, it's so thick. But the, <clears throat> the little bit that I get, that oh, bitterness yeah. is purely Holy coming crap. from the cookie. That bitterness is not in the cream. Mm. That <gasps> cream's really good. That cream is amazing. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, the cookie is... It's... I, again, hard is the only word I really have to describe it. <laughs> yeah, hard and bitter for me. So Interesting. Very interesting. And messy. Got crumbs freaking everywhere. <laughs> On that note, though, okay. a classic. In a very same vein. But hello. So okay, there are at least three different kinds of matcha Oreos, yeah. depending on the country you are in. <laughs> um, yes. We were really trying to get our hands on the Japanese ones. All three are hard to get your hands on. Um, Quite expensive. These ones are from China, okay. and they were the easiest to find in stock, and they were a lower price. Um, it is okay. matcha roll cake. Yeah, it says matcha roll cake. Got the roll cake down here. How different it's can that really be? It's not going to make any difference in the flavor. I, I don't, don't think, think so. so. I don't either. No. Um, I do know that they are like Oreo thins, what yeah. are called Oreo thins in the United States, but I guess they call them crispy. Yeah. Um, and another cute pre- little, little yeah. portioned out snack sizes. So Oreo thin. Oh, Ooh, so thin. Razor thin. Wait, where's, where's the thin? <laughs> so the filling, Oreo. I don't, can we get what close enough to the are camera to playing? Just... Okay, it is, it's, it is buried in this cookie. There's like, like a, you can see through. Everyone see knows margins. the size of an Oreo. And now imagine that the filling is like the width of a quarter. Yes, exactly. Like it doesn't go to the edges. Not at all. By a long shot. Shocking. Wow. Okay. If all Chinese Oreos are like this, I'll be very sad. <laughs> I don't know what to think. All right. Well, anyway, I think I liked the chocolate sand cookie better. Oh, they're so different. The chocolate wow. Oreo, the cookie, the chocolate cookie part, tastes a lot different than what we're used to in the United States. Uh, uh, I'll start with that, which is fine. I don't... It does not taste like an Oreo. It's not super chocolatey. I don't necessarily mind that. It is a little disappointing. But here you can really see, now that I've peeled some off, how much the cream doesn't go to the edge. But that, first off, it suffers from there not being enough cream on it because it the does. matcha flavor is so mild that when you have even less of a mild flavor, combating with those two cookies, you can't taste it at all. It really would have benefited from a full cream distribution. Yeah. I'm again, um, maybe this is maybe this is like a symptom of chocolate and matcha or something happening with my taste buds, but I'm getting like a bitterness. This one is bitter. As well. And I do think that's actually from the green tea. Okay. It's like when you over brew. Yes. Green it tea. It's almost a little burnt or something. I don't yeah. know. It is bitter. It's bitter in the way like over brewed tea is bitter. Yeah. Those are disappointing in a way I was not expecting, <laughs> which is they are disappointing in every single way possible. Yes. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, Oreo Crispy. Our last thing is kind of like a fun weirdo thing. Super excited. It's a it's a Bing Bing. Oh, oh yeah, we I have forgot. A... <laughs> this isn't our last thing. Our second to last thing is shaped like our last thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's Bing Bing. Cone snack with green tea flavored filling. Never had anything like it. <laughs> Don't even know what we're expecting. Thrilled. They're <gasps> very long and skinny. Okay. Um, the packaging is really cute this on the front. Fun. <gasps> okay, so we have like. Mess. Oh, wait. Is yours? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Do you use mine to deflate it? That makes me so sad. It does smell like green tea? It really does. Good. And so it's like a sugar cone and a Desmond. <laughs> and a Desmond. Desmond, this is in the treat for the baby. Did you say hi to everyone? Show everyone your butthole. Desmond. Good job. <laughs> <clears throat> um, well, I'm sorry yours deflated. So I think you're supposed to get this fun, like, Yeah, mine has, like, button a... Button type bloop. bloop and you but can see that mine has something. clearly just 
sunk right yeah. in here. Oh, that's too bad. I wonder, it makes me skeptical. Looking at yours, it makes me skeptical What's that there's in... much filling at the bottom of this. What's in... I guess we're going to find out. I'm concerned about what the texture of the green tea is going to be. Me too. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's so dry. <laughs> First off, for how much it smelled like green tea, this tastes literally nothing like green tea or matcha. No, not even the even a now, faintest hint. Even now when I smell it, smells of it, doesn't taste of it. Not even a little bit. The inside is... Oh my word. Weird. Yeah. It's like a thick... You know what it makes me think of? Astronaut ice cream. <gasps> That, like, a little bit. Really, it's like kind of slimy, kind of like thick, like creamy, yeah. but like warm creamy. I don't understand what's happening here because it's like airy. It's airy, but it has so like dense. you can kind of see it has like you know like air bubbles. Like it's supposed to be fluffy, but it's very dense. And then the cone is, I mean, <laughs> all the cone I, we all know. All I can really taste is the cone. The cone has more flavor than the filling, which is not saying a lot because the cone doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> These are yeah, um, opposite end it. Mm. That starts to be easier to eat. It does not taste like matcha at all. No, it really doesn't. Mm -mm. Which is strange because they really genuinely smell like matcha. But they don't taste of it at all. I can see kids really enjoying this. It's fun. It's yeah. super cute. <clears throat> I bet with a... Uh... Stronger flavor, like chocolate or strawberry. Yeah. Oh, one of these with chocolate filling, mm. I would be all over that. But yeah, this is kind of a bummer. Weird. Cute, but weird. Yeah. And cute, messy. Cute, wow. but weird. Okay. All right. Now, now, we have real ice cream. Um, thank you, Robert. Ooh. It is it is mochi ice cream. So we're going to have the mochi coating and then um, green tea ice cream filling. Right. I love mochi. Too. It took me a long time to love, but now I really love it. Um, there's a thousand. I got these at the Asian market. There's like ten thousand so brands of brands mochi ice cream. And yeah, and they all make a matcha flavor. Yeah. So oh. the chewiness you would expect, mm -hmm. the sweetness you're expecting, because it's yeah. ice cream. Exactly. My green tea flavor is nice. It's good. I always like green tea or like matcha ice cream because I feel like the matcha flavor makes ice cream seem a little less sweet, actually. I agree. And just like mentally tricking myself into the perfect combatant of consuming sugar, but also consuming a powerhouse antioxidant. So obviously is balance. A health food? <laughs> yeah. Obviously. <laughs> um, mm, it's perfect. I love it. Yeah. I think what's important maybe to note is that maybe some people haven't had mochi before. Mm. Um, mochi is basically a pastry dough made out of rice flour yeah like glutinous rice mm -hmm. glutinous rice and so it is um really really chewy yes um and like soft it's kind of hard to describe if i'm being honest um so basically they just stretch out this rice dough it's pretty thin mm -hmm. um and then they just take the ice cream ball and they wrap the ice cream ball in the mochi dough mm -hmm. um Mochi, however, doesn't always necessarily mean it's ice cream in the middle. Oh, no, no, um, yeah. You can put anything in the middle of it. I just watched a YouTube video of a guy who dipped strawberries in chocolate and put that in the middle of mochi. Oh, damn. And I'm not going to say it didn't seem like a good idea. Um, so mochi is the dough, and then this is mochi ice cream. Mm -hmm. um, if you've never tried it, you should. Absolutely. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do think ice cream is one of the more fun things to eat with it. I like anything that turns ice cream into a finger food. <laughs> ice cream oh, sandwiches. Agreed. Ice cream on a, like, you know, ice pops or whatever. Yeah. This or is little some, poppable. Or just little. Little bonbon shaped. Yeah. Ice creams. Yeah. Mm. Very good. The flavor is so good. Yeah, on those. it's great. <laughs> okay. And he's back. Round two. He heard we were having ice cream. <laughs> it's 15 minutes aren't enough. <laughs> Well, I mean, I already know my bottom thing, I think, is actually the Oreos. With I'm these being up. Disappointingly. I mean, the Oreos and this, those do taste like matcha, and these don't taste like anything. Yeah, but that's fair. They're both equally disappointing to not, me. Not great. Uh, One well, buy again. 
wouldn't buy again. I do, however, that said, really want to try the other matcha Oreo flavors that are in the world. Me too. There's mm-hmm. the regular matcha that I think is from Japan, right? Mm-hmm. And then there is a Sakura, which, what, is it cherry blossom and matcha flavor? Yes. Yeah. I really want to try that. That came out last year, 2020. We're never going to find Can't it. Can't find we're having the hardest it. time. Um, really want to try that one. So I'm not putting matcha Oreos out of the running. No. But not those ones. I just didn't love it. Oh, sorry, guys. They're not great. Um, however. Said, favorite? Oh, the Kit Kats. Easy. Kit Kats and then ice cream. I, I really like. Best matcha flavors. Easily yeah. the best matcha flavors. Yeah. Even though the matcha flavor wasn't as strong, I really did like the quadratinis. Those are just really nice to eat. They're snack. really nice to eat. They're really yeah. nice to snack on. Yeah. Um, yeah, but hands down, the best two. Ice cream, Kit Kats. Those Kit Kats have changed me. <laughs> yeah, so fantastic. Worth the money. Absolutely. Sorry. Yeah, just so you know, buying Japanese Kit Kats uh, in America is um, $7 for one of those bags, and that bag looks bigger than its contents. It does. So, but worth just it to warn for you, these ones. Yeah. Delicious. So good. All right, awesome. Well, um, we are now taking user submitted taglines. Yes. Closing taglines. Yeah. Uh, so this week was submitted to us by uh, on Instagram from Megan underscore Eileen. Are you ready? Let's give it a shot. All right. So like, subscribe, and mm, mouthfeel. Mouth <laughs>